Now to our GMA cover story, an alarming new study showing a spike in teens with high blood pressure, saying nearly 800,000 more teens have it. That staggering jump based on new guidelines that our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning, Robin. This is alarming. You don't normally think of the word teens and hypertension in the same sentence, but we know now that it's a major issue and identifying it early is important because if that goes on to adults with hypertension, mm -hmm. that is a setup for cardiovascular disease, stroke, and so it's important to get, get a good look at this. Last year, the American Academy of Pediatrics came out with new guidelines, they lowered the threshold to 130 over 80, basically. That is now the cutoff for youths and teens. And so a recent study done by the CDC wanted to look at the numbers in the country. They found that one in seven U.S. teens or youths had blood pressure greater than 130 over 80, and about 800,000 now met this new diagnosis. So that's concerning. The good news is, is that even though they've lowered the threshold, right. bringing in more people with that diagnosis, Overall, the numbers are going down, so kind of a good news, bad news situation. So, of course, the next question is medications? Well, in some cases, yes, but here's the important thing when you're talking about this age group. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle modifications are key, so what does that mean? We start with food is your good, medicine. Good. Most people are familiar with lowering sodium, Increasing foods with potassium, just as important. Getting daily exercise can lower those numbers. And yes, in certain children, and these are not only obese youths and teens, they will need medication. But look elsewhere first. Yeah, that, absolutely. Which is good, especially right. at that young age. So if you're a parent and you're listening to this this morning, your, Here's your, what's important. The parents' blood pressure right. is going so up. So not only this. for kids, but for adults. When this instrument is brought out at your next doctor's visit, here are some things you need to know. That blood pressure needs to be checked in both arms. The number should be almost the same. You have to use the proper size cuff. If you use a cuff that's too small, you will get a falsely high number. You should be doing this on bare skin. So if you come in in the winter oh. and you're wearing a sweater and someone puts a cuff on over that sweater, not the right way to do it. And even if you get one high number, Robin, that that needs to be repeated two or three times. Don't worry. This is not something we make with a lot of people get nervous when they go to the doctor. Hopefully oh, not yeah. my office. <laughs> no, not at all. But, <laughs> but also, it doesn't hurt to have one at home. And, yeah, there and, are and automatic yeah, ones that are really, really one. important, and mm -hmm. it's good to know those numbers. It's digital. Comes yeah, right out like that. super easy. All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.